Welcome to another week of Dodger baseball, and finally a week I can say was pretty good. Unfortunately, because this week saw the off day fall on a Monday instead of a Thursday, we're catching the Dodgers in the middle of a series again. First, we have the three-game series against the Astros, which I was pretty concerned about, but thankfully the Dodgers managed to win two of three. They even came close to sweeping the Astros, but that was not meant to be. Then there's the Rockies series, in which two games have been played. The Dodgers have split the series so far, but tonight's game will decide the winner. Looking at the pitching this week, the big news is that Emmett Sheehan recorded his first win after a stellar performance against the Astros. Michael Grove actually came in as a relief pitcher in that game and gave us two hitless innings, which felt like a sign that we should consider moving him to the bullpen as a long reliever. But as you can see, he went on to pitch in Colorado to little success. Kershaw was once again dominant, giving up just one hit in six innings on Tuesday. Unfortunately, he told Dave Roberts he was done after six, apparently feeling a little off. At the moment, it doesn't look like it's anything too serious, but he might end up missing a start. This week also saw Freddie Freeman get his 2,000th hit, making him the sixth active player to achieve that. Freddie Freeman hits this one to right, fairly deep, and it's over the head of Tucker. Freddie Freeman, the second bet, scores, and welcome to the 2,000 hit club, Freddie Freeman. And to keep the milestones going, J.D. Martinez got his 300th home run in Colorado. He swings and drives it deep to left field. This ball is gone! Career homer number 300 for J.D. Martinez! Oh, how do you like it? A two-homer night! But easily the most exciting game of the week was Saturday, when the Dodgers were down 3-7 going into the bottom of the seventh. But then the bats came alive. Top of the division. Here's David Peralta lifting one to right. Back towards the wall. It's Tucker off the bench. And a two-run bomb from Peralta. And the Dodgers cut the deficit in half. Two-strike approach from Hayward. Slider into right center field. Tucker is over with a sliding catch. Freeman will take off from third and score. On to third goes Smith. And it's a one-run game. 3-1 pitch, slider, drilled to right field, back goes Tucker, to the wall, and James Altman has turned this game around, the Dodgers lead in the eighth. Oh. And then, with the game tied, this happened. Oh my goodness, that's going to score a run. DeLuca comes across, and it's 8-7 to seven Dodgers. He called a balk on Stanek, and Stanek is arguing. He is saying, like, what did I do that? here? How is that a balk? He is asking home plate umpire and crew chief Manny Gonzalez, but Gonzalez was adamant. And Dusty Baker is livid. Let's see here, waiting to see if Stanek comes set. He stepped off the rubber, and that's when Gonzalez called him for the block. I don't know, I think Junior Valentine uh, called perhaps the block. Yeah, I think you're right, it's the second base umpire that called it. You see it, you got back on the rubber and then... Indeed, the game ended up being decided by a balk, and the pitcher Ryan Stanek was not happy, with both he and the Astros manager Dusty Baker being ejected from the game. Pitch. Payoff again to Bush, and this time he strikes out a frustrated Stanek, looks back and gets ejected by the second base umpire, Junior Valentine, after arguing that balk, which brought the go-ahead run home. Valentine is having none of it. Joshua Miller comes out to grab Stanek. Manny Gonzalez, the crew chief, has to step in front of Stanek. And that's going to do it in what was a wild eighth inning in an already wild Saturday on Chavez Ravine. Now, I personally do think it was a balk, but Astros fans do not seem to agree. And yes, the irony of the Astros fans saying they were cheated out of a win is not lost on me. Now, if this had only happened in the World Series, maybe we'd call it even. Anyways, we've got a long clutch list this week. Clayton Kershaw, Emmett Sheehan, Mookie Betts, J.D. Martinez, Freddie Freeman, David Peralta, Will Smith, and Ryan Stanek. And I'm happy to announce I'm going to be removing James Altman from the list of concern after he got six hits this week. 
But in his place must go Miguel Vargas, who has been abysmal lately and is now below the Mendoza line. The bullpen was almost off the list of concern, but they botched the game on Wednesday, so I'm keeping them on it. Austin Barnes weirdly hasn't played in a game since June 17th, but I'll keep him on the list for old time's sake. And here are the division standings. Really gotta hope the Giants start playing worse. See you next week.